Now, I know a lot of you heard me say that I'm a grandmother. Well, good news. You don't need AIDS. Your hearing is impeccable. Because I am. And I know this because I now creak when I walk and I drool when I talk. Not long ago, I used to be extremely shy. I didn't want to be that guy. You, you, you all know that guy, right? You, if you've ever been to any public meeting, you've seen him or her, they're sitting off to the side, all by themselves, but nodding to everybody who comes in because they've seen them at all the other community meetings that they go to, furiously taking notes. And when they open it up for questions, they are the first one up at the microphone and they're talking about shadows and setbacks and transit studies and, and traffic impact assessments. That was not me. I was the outcast. Nobody wanted to talk to me. Nobody even wanted to be associated with me. And then it was no longer just a belief that I didn't belong. Then it was a knowing. Then I just bought into it. I gave up all of my power. And I just, I just tried to control what I could just to survive. It, didn't, it was no longer a belief and a power. It was just a survival mechanism. I had a partner, a wife, of some 23 years, to whom my revelation was a complete and utter shock. You see, I had been so successful as a chameleon that she had absolutely no idea what was coming or what hit her on that May day of 2008. To her, what she experienced was the death of her husband. I was the bitch that stole her husband. And what I did is I built a giant drag chute made out of IJ bags for my bike, right? I put a timer on the IJ bags on my bike. And then what I did is I went up to the Humber Valley and I started biking down this hill really, 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 really fast, as fast as I could. And the timer was on five seconds, right? Four, three, two, one, boom, ignition. The bag went out, the chute deployed, and I hadn't studied mass or momentum at that point. So the bike stopped, right? And you know, when the little lady called the police, all she said was, I saw a boy flying through the air. And so now one of my priorities is to spend time in nature every single day. Most days I walk in the ravine near my house. I have my neighbor's dog, which is a husky, and we walk by this incredibly beautiful winding river and there's these tall lookouts, and there's these majestic trees that at times I feel truly honored just to be in their presence. And there's something truly magnificent about spending time in nature that nurtures your, nurtures your soul like few other things will. We have so. the power to transform lives starting with our own. Uh, there we go. There you go. Ladies and gentlemen, Michelle Nere.